Greetings and welcome to Mojo Sailing Adventures. I'm Mike and today we're going to do a tour of the Mojo. The Mojo is a 2000 Catalina 320. I purchased her in 2007 and she's been a fantastic boat. This is a great boat whether it be for a day sail or extended cruising. For a day sail it handles six to seven people fairly well and can be sailed solo fairly easily. For overnight trips, four adults fit uh, fairly comfortably. So let's get started on the tour. As you board, notice how much space there is in the cockpit for everyone to move around. Down below there are cabins in the bow and stern as well as additional areas to sleep midship. There's a very comfortable and usable layout below. Midship is a table surrounded by a U-shaped seating and a bench seat. This table can be lowered and a cushion inserted to create a whole other sleeping area uh, for one adult or possibly two really small children. Here you can see the uh, sink the stovetop, the oven, uh, there's a microwave up here. Uh, to the left side here is a reach down refrigerator uh, with a whole lot of space in it uh, and a small freezer inside. Uh, there's plenty of storage throughout the uh, entire interior. This is the electrical panel, the uh, below deck VHF and stereo. The bow cabin fits one to two people. Uh, that open slot right at the beginning there, you pull out a little uh, slider and you can insert a cushion there. This is the head. So there's a sink, a toilet. The sink is a uh, pull-out faucet. You can, so this becomes a shower. And here you see the aft or main cabin, a uh, space for two adults very comfortably here. This is the uh, Yanmar uh, 3GM30 27 horsepower diesel that is uh, pretty accessible right here. Let's head back out on the deck. As mentioned earlier, there's plenty of space in the cockpit. The winches and clutches are within easy reach and there's a clear view from the helm and even space for the captain to move to, uh, to adjust his position if uh, heeled over. I upgraded all the Raymarine instruments in 2020. For those of you unfamiliar with these instruments, this first one shows wind direction and wind speed. This shows boat speed. This gauge shows depth, and this last one out here is the autopilot. Um, the Probably the best upgrade I did on this boat um, was in 2021, I added a uh, linear drive autopilot rather than the uh, one on the wheel. It works a heck of a lot better. This is the Ray Marine Axiom multifunction display. These wing seats are another nice feature on this boat. Uh, they're very popular on just about every trip we do. This is a uh, swim ladder and swim step. It's used to uh, get on and off the boat Mainly when you're, uh, for me, it's when you're like anchored out. So whether you're using a kayak or a dinghy or somebody swimming or so on, uh, 
it makes it really, really easy to get through. That step can actually come out. So if you're somewhere for any length of time, we'll usually take that little, uh, that step out. Here you can see a shot of it when we're uh, anchored over at Catalina. So the, the swim ladder is down in the water and there's the uh, swim platform, swim step. Well, this concludes the walkthrough. Please be sure to check out and subscribe to my channel, Mojo Sailing Adventures, for more videos on the various trips that we've done. I'm hoping to do a lot more trips coming up real soon. Thanks again for watching.